Sometimes you want to create up a payload that is going to bypass your antivirus, but later you get slapped in your face when it is quickly detected. So now in this video, I'm going to be showing you how we can craft up a payload that is going to go on and bypass our Windows Defender. It is going to give us a shell in our MSF console once it is executed. So we shall be using a software which is called Hoka. But before we proceed, this video is strictly for educational purposes only. All testing shown in this video is performed under a controlled environment, which is the virtual box on my local machine. You shouldn't be attempted to try this on live servers or machines without proper authorization. So now just go to GitHub and search for this software called Hoka. I'll be leaving the link in the description for this software kudos to the creator so all you have to do is to go on and download this using your git in your kali linux so just click here copy the code and open up your terminal so here we can switch to our desktop or any location where you download your softwares i already downloaded this on my computer but i just want to show you how you can download this so if you paste there your link just say git clone and press enter your software will be downloaded and once it is downloaded on your machine you need to go on and just run build so that they create our programs that we can use to create up our payload but here it is simply downloading i'm going to go on and open up another terminal we can just open up our msf console so that it becomes ready before we execute everything so i'm going to start up this and simply let me go on and rename this to my msf console now since this is being started and when we come back here your program will be downloaded but i already downloaded this and just need to switch to the location where this software is and it's called hoka So this is the location of the software I downloaded, but I'm going to just go on and stop this. So once you finish to clone up the software from GitHub, just enter that location and you just need to execute a single command, which is make. So if you press enter, three files are going to be created in a folder, which is called build. And we shall be using these softwares to create up our payload that it is going to be still with our antivirus so you can look through its documentation it is simply very easy to go on and understand this is the command of downloading it enter that location and just run make so once you execute one of those commands that were created after running make you'll be able to see this view and simply here they are giving you examples on how we can use this program so here our programs have been created so once we enter that folder for build and if at least three programs are created which are these ones we see darwin we see one for linux and one for windows it ends with a dot exe so for a linux we can just go on and execute the hooker for linux and if you press enter you see that you get your menu for hoka so all we have to do is to go on and create up a payload now this one needs to be a dot bin file that we can use with this software so i'm going to just come back here simply um again on my desktop you can choose any location you want to be so here i'm going to use msf venom to create up a payload so here i'll be using windows 64 bit metapreter underscore reverse tcp you can either say metapreter slash reverse underscore tcp with our l host you can set the ip address of your kali linux this is the listening server and you can also set the l port which is the listening port whereby we can set this to our msf console to have our metapreter so here with a minus f i uh, used a row we need a row file format 
and for the minus o which is for output we are going to get a bin file or we can change this to a bin file so i can give this to another name so this one can be test dot bin so once we press enter just give it a few seconds this payload is going to be created in our desktop environment now once this is done we can go on and we proceed to create up a wonderful payload with this program so we can come down here on its menu we see a sample of programs that we can use here perhaps i can go on and copy this and try to use this example of code that was given to us let me first check our payload was created now i can just say ls test dot bin now if it is created it's going to be displayed here now that is done we have our bin file this is the payload that was created with msf console so once this is done we need to go on and create up that payload with the software hawker so i'm going to come here and copy this code but before we do that you need to enter this location for bin where our three binary files are we shall be using this one for linux all you have to do is to say dot slash hawker now here you are going to be using a minus i and provide the file that you want to play around with and uh, this one is located on my desktop and it is called test so it is test.bin with a minus o this one you can provide a output where do you want to save this file and we can give it a name perhaps loader or loader 3 you can give it any name you want with the exact and others these are similar to what we have in this example so you can use a copy of this so once i press enter our payload is going to be created and we can send this to our victim so you see in a few seconds a new executable has been generated and it's called loader.exe so in case we move to our desktop desktop location and when we say ls our loader.exe you see this is present so we need to send this to our victim machine which is this windows machine now since i'll be sending this via a web server i can bypass the mark of the web whereby i can put this in the iso format to simply save time so i'm going to just say mkfs then i'm going to provide a minus o then here provide a name of the iso image that you need to be created perhaps this one is going to be loader dot loader dot iso then here provided a file that you want to put in that iso format so this one is going to be loader.exe so once i press enter and if we say ls here i'm going to just set dot and we put a world card if we list you see that we have two files we have the exe that was created and we also we have the loader.iso that was created only i created this iso image i want to bypass the mark of the web in case i'm to download it is through the browser but you can even send the exe to your computer or your victim's machine without any problem so once this is done we need to set up a python server so that we can download this application on our windows machine so here we are going to be using our python 3 so simply you can say python 3 with a minus m and http.server and we need to be listening to port 80 so if i press enter our server has been started so all you need to do is to come to your windows machine and download that application so here i can just type the ip of my server or my kali linux and once it is done we can proceed to downloading our iso format so these are the files present on my desktop which is our server so here all i need to do is to go on and look for my iso file that i created earlier 
so simply it was just load that dot iso let me just wait for this to load so we have our loader dot iso i'm going to click on it and this will be downloaded then as that is taking place we need to go on and we set up our listener now here with our server you see our loader.iso has been tapped on let us go on and set up our server so here we do have our msf console that we had started up earlier so let's go on and use so here let's say use exploit mode handler So with our spring, so I need to come. Exp no, 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 no. So use exploit mount handler. I don't know. Let me just say use mount handler. Simply, it's going to be the same. handler also the spelling so that is done i'm going to clear this we have our exploit mode handler set now here we need to set up a payload so i'm going to say set our payload we need to set up a payload that was created earlier so if we come back here with our msf console let us look at a payload that was created. You need to set the exact one. So this is the site. Now, if you try to see, this is the payload that was created. It is a Windows 64 interpreter, reverse underscore TCP. Simply, you can also go on and copy this, then come back the side to our MSF console and paste that. So after setting your payload, we need to go on and we set our L host to our Kali Linux IP. So which is 192.168.43.102. So after setting your listener, let's go on and we set our port. So for the port that was used to create up a payload, it was just 444. So let's go on and set that too. So after everything is done, simply you can just say options or show options so that you see what you have set. Our payload is there, our L host and our port. And here just say run. So our listener has been started up. All we need to do is to go on and execute this application that we sent to our victim's machine. Now, since I turned this to a ISO format, you see that here the application was downloaded without any problem because we bypassed the mark of the web. So all I have to do is to click on open file so that this is mounted to our system and we go on and we execute our payload to see if we can get back our session in our MSF console so that is done now simply here in our windows machine we do have our real-time protection turned on which means our antivirus is active let us see if this will be able to give us a session so let us come back here i'm going to move to my downloads i just clicked on open file and i see it is taking time to go on and open this so I remember assigning my Windows machine in the VirtualBox 1 GB of RAM. So it isn't that faster. So let's go to Downloads. And we need to execute that program in the ISO format. So this is the loader.exe. So let's go on and open this. My machine is a bit slow because of the RAM and we do have our loader that is the payload that we created earlier with our hooker. So all I'm going to do is to go on and execute this. So let me just go on and double click this. 
Now, once you bypass your Mac of the web, we shall not get a smart screen for Windows Defender. Now, since this has been tapped on, all we have to do is to give it a few minutes or seconds to return back our session in our MSF console. Now, this took approximately three minutes to go on and return back our interpreter session, but after returning this, it was terminated. So I'm going to go on and perhaps try to start this again to see if we can get back the interpreter session. Now I just stopped this with my control C. I'm going to go on and set up the listener again, then try to execute this application and see whether this time we shall get back our interpreter in lesser than a few minutes so let me just go on and execute this and we wait again to see if we can bypass this now when you try to see how we manage to get back our metapeter when i say sys info you can see that we bypass our antivirus so i'm working on a windows 10 and this is the build so we have simply got access to our Windows machine. So you can go on and try this on your machine. Perhaps yours will be faster. My machine is a bit slower, but I also found a couple of challenges whereby the terminal continues to go on and closes. So you can simply go on and try this on your machine. So in case you ain't subscribed to my channel, you can feel free to subscribe, turn on the notifications icon so that you don't miss any of the videos that I'll be uploading. I'll see you in the next video.